Chapter 17 The next allotment of land was given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, the descendants of Joseph's older son. Gilead and Bashan on the east side of the Jordan had already been given to the family of Machir because he was a great warrior. Machir was Manasseh's oldest son and was the father of Gilead. Land on the west side of the Jordan was allotted to the remaining families within the tribe of Manasseh, Abiezer, Helek, Asriel, Shechem, Hefer, and Shemida. However, Zelophehad, son of Hefner, who was a descendant of Manasseh, Machir, and Gilead, had no sons. Instead, he had five daughters. Their names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These women came to Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the Israelite leaders, and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance along with the men of our tribe. So Joseph gave them an inheritance along with their uncles, as the Lord had commanded. As a result, Manasseh's inheritance came to ten parcels of land, in addition to the land of Gilead and Bashan across the Jordan River, because the female descendants of Manasseh received an inheritance along with the male descendants. The land of Gilead was given to the rest of the male descendants of Manasseh. The boundary of the tribe of Manasseh extended from the border of Asher to Mikmethath, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary went south from Mikmethath to the people living near the spring of Tapua. The land surrounding Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapua, on the border of Manasseh's territory, belonged to the tribe of Ephraim. From the spring of Tapua, the border of Manasseh followed the northern side of the Kena Ravine to the Mediterranean Sea. Several towns in Manasseh's territory belonged to the tribe of Ephraim. The land south of the ravine belonged to Ephraim, and the land north of the ravine belonged to Manasseh with the Mediterranean Sea forming Manasseh's western border. North of Manasseh was the territory of Asher, and to the east was the territory of Issachar. The following towns within the territory of Issachar and Asher were given to Manasseh, Beth Shen, Ibliam Dor, that is Nafoth Dor, Endor, Ta'anach, and Megiddo, with their respective villages. But the descendants of Manasseh were unable to occupy these towns they could not drive out the Canaanites who continued to live there. Later on, however, when the Israelites became strong enough, they forced the Canaanites to work as slaves, but they did not drive them out of the land. The descendants of Joseph came to Joshua and asked, Why have you given us only one portion of land when the Lord has given us so many people? Joshua replied, If the hill country of Ephraim is not large enough for you, clear out land for yourselves in the forest where the Perizzites and Rephaites live. They said, The hill country is not enough for us, and the Canaanites in the lowlands around Bethshan in the valley of Jezreel have iron chariots. They're too strong for us. Then Joshua said to the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, the descendants of Joseph, Since you are so large and strong, you will be given more than one portion. The forests of the hill country will be yours as well. Clear as much of the land as you wish and live there. And I am sure you can drive out the Canaanites from the valleys too even though they are strong and have iron chariots.